Alright, hello everyone. As you can see, this is our solar system. You know, you got the Sun, you got Mercury, you got Venus, and then you got Earth, you got Mars, you got Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. I know it's pronounced Uranus, but I'm going to pronounce it Uranus because it's freaking funny. And then Neptune. And then you notice there's a lot more to this system. You know, you got asteroids, you got dwarf planets. Most notably, 2007 QR10, the most famous dwarf planet of them all. Because I am a curious little boy, and I am wondering what happens if we add two suns to our system. Well, bye, I guess. Now, you can see everybody's or orbit starts to go crazy, and the uh, average temperature of Earth starts to drop dramatically. The average temperature of Earth is currently 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's look at the surface. Um, you can see the highest temperature is dropping because there's no more sun, and soon the Earth will just become a gigantic snowball as portrayed here. Now, what if we take another star? Let's take, oh, I don't know. Let's take Betelgeuse and uh, add that to our solar system. You know. Why, why is it moving? Okay, let's add another Beetlejuice. Let's speed up the time, see what happens. Skip it up and down up. Alright, now we are in a brand new nothing. So, let's take our brand new nothing and let's add something. Beetlejuice, for example. And let's take a few planets, I don't know. Doesn't matter which. Uh, rocky planets and add them. This is our own custom solar system. We can do whatever we want with it. I'm gonna add as many planets as our hearts desire. Now let's speed it up, see what happens. Non. The farthest planet away from the Betelgeuse is um, 265 degrees Celsius. None of these planets are livable by human standards, so let's take Earth and uh, Put them all the way out here. Let's see if that's livable enough. Probably not, so let's spawn another one. And exit. Let's view the average temperature of this earth. The average temperature is boiling. So, not that one. That's not livable. The average temperature of this one is 10 degrees Celsius, which is 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Because Doctor Who is dead. And so is this police box. Now if we zoom in a little bit closer, we can see that it's getting actually farther away from Beetlejuice. But let's add another one, just for the sake of it. You can see that it's actually getting closer. And the reason behind this is, well, I don't know, there's a reason why I don't work for NASA. Now, let's add a laser. Laser, one of these planets, I don't know, and a sign. Uh, Horta. Non. Leticia. I don't know why there's city lights on it. There's nobody here. Let's take the surface temperature and uh, let's raise it up a little bit by adding a laser. So the average temperature is being raised in South America right now. We're going to highlight South America in laser. There we go. Everybody in South America is dead. That's not an explosion. It just vanished. Explode that one too while you're at it. You know what? Let's, let's explode Beetlejuice and then bring it all back together with a black hole. There we go. I always wondered what happened when two black holes are placed right next to each other. Alright, so let's start a new Jupiter's New Moons 2023. Sure, we'll go with that. As you can see, there's Jupiter. And it has roughly between 80 and 95 moons. So, with that being said, let's explode the thing. So what happens when Jupiter is no longer there? What will its moons do? I grabbed the wrong tool. Hold on. What will its moons do if Jupiter is just suddenly no longer there? It no longer has a planet to rotate around. You're right. Let's do the same thing, but with Earth. 
There's no moons around Jupiter. This is not realistic at all. <laughs> Let's just throw in like a bunch of freaking Beetlejuices. Everyone's orbit's just straight up mm, effed right now. So, oh, there's our first supernova. Go, my children, be free. Now today's lesson is how many Beetlejuices can we spawn in before crashing Jesse's computer? Traveling at a thousand years per second, mind you. <laughs> Simulation can't run any faster with the current settings. Well, yeah, ah. Uh, yeah, about that, um, I think I know the reason. Oh, there goes another supernova. Let's spawn Stephenson 218. Um, biggest sun known to man. Biggest sun? Biggest star. That's what it is. And we're going to spawn it a millisecond per second. Bro, where are all the stars going and why are they traveling so fast? Oh, because I got it at a million years per second. Let me turn that down real quick. Okay, so now we're traveling at six years per second. And there goes another super... <laughs> Okay, there's Stephenson. There we go, there's a supernova again. Spawn a bunch of these. See how long it takes for the entire operation to, like, I don't know, die or something. Bro, my computer is gonna be like a whole ass vacuum cleaner after I'm done with this. Let's spawn an Altair. Oh wait, no, that's still something. Son, I'm right. Well, what? It's what? It's whatever. Oh, look at everything. It's so beautiful. Alright, my computer's too strong. I quit. Um. Alright, my computer's too strong. I quit.